What's going on guys, it's Roman back again from Rum Reviews, and today is another episode of Iromaga Sensei. This episode came out, I think, like, not even ten minutes ago, and I just saw it on my feed on Twitter, and I was like, you know what, might as well go check it out. Also, speaking of Twitter, if you guys are inclined to follow me, I will be starting to post updates on on basically there are just some random shenanigans uh, the link is in the description below it's in all gonna be in all my videos so if you guys are interested in following me or just looking at basically stupid stuff that I'm gonna be posting pretty soon you can go ahead and follow me or do whatever you like to do anyways let's go into this episode I'm interested in seeing where it's gonna go as a recap for episode one the main character did find out that his little sister is indeed the same artist who has been anonymously working with him for his own light novel I think it's like a light novel or of a sort um, both are really uh, prominent in their fields both are really well known and it just so happens that they both live underneath the same roof despite being such talented uh, artists and authors of their respective fields. Now, without any further ado, let's get into episode two, which is called A Class Rep with a Normie Life and a Fearless Fairy. I think that was that was one of the, um if you look in the first episode you can see uh her and some other girls that I'm pretty sure oh, okay then. Oh, okay. <laughs> For a split second I thought I was like Thought you kissed him. At least she's someone I don't think I've ever met the Guardian, even in the manga. Mega mean. Okay, so we got a <laughs> we got an Aqua and Renaipok, and we got a Megumin. I swear, if there's some chick named Darkness in some edgy slice of life show, <laughs> I'm gonna laugh my ass off. Oh, it's Megumi or Megumi. Okay, I think it's just Megumi, but still, it's close enough. Oh no. <laughs> I don't know if you should like be uh Damn. <laughs> what has happened to Japan? <laughs> I, I, I have a feeling that's not like... <laughs> but still, holy crap. But she doesn't go to school. Okay, I don't think... Um, yeah, I don't think they showed the intro, so... Let's go watch it really quickly. pretty generic I mean if you want to go generic you can oh no I mean I was gonna say like if you think about a Kobayashi is pretty generic but it's the way they present it at the same time this has a generic it has a generic feel but the way they present it is very well done and very catchy this is generic it looks okay I want to give for that. I I want to I want to give for that. I'm guessing those are all the other girls that are going to be in there. That looks like Yukino. That looks like Yukino from Masamune Kun's Revenge. Those like deadpan eyes. Oh yeah, this is A1 Pictures. I'm pr I think A1 Pictures also did, um... It's the same studio behind, um... Masamunikan. Don't 
Don't quote me on that though, because I'm pretty sure I I'm just assuming. About I would say like about two three years ago is when I was I, I could have easily been one p. But yeah, um, as I was saying about like two three years ago, maybe four years ago, back in high school, um, I was a giant otaku. Not as much anymore because I don't really have the time. And my interest has diminished since then. It's still there, of course, otherwise I wouldn't be really doing this, but... I don't know number. But it looked like it showed a number there. Oh. <laughs> okay, she's cute. She has like, she has cute moments. Nine. Nine. Yes. Freaking Bluetooth headset almost. <laughs> now she's calling the money son. Form an alliance to get her out. Every time I hear that, it just... <laughs> Is she jealous? <laughs> no, but um, back in uh, school, I had this uh, girl who would call me Oni Chan. It's one of my weak points. I don't normally get vulnerable. The way she said that, I was like, you could turn into dangerous waters there. Well, granted, me and her don't talk anymore because she kind of just went off the deep end. But that's besides the point. <laughs> Doing dirty stuff. Kill me. Exactly. <laughs> There's a line. You don't cross that line. <laughs> She's going to come down and yell at her.
GG <laughs> She has like this devilish She has like a devilish side to her. I kinda like that. <laughs> what is this? Oh my god. Oh no. Oh, this is Megumin. Okay, they're just Megumi as like a... <laughs> she hung up. Alright, so I thought she was actually gonna come down, so I guess he's just gonna pop up, see what, see if everything was alright, and then she's, he's gonna get beat up. It's not her phone. It's not. It's not his phone. You can see that phone behind her back. How did he not notice that it's not his phone? Yeah, I, unless. Hold on. Oh no. <laughs> <laughs> just, no, not Lou, just... So she does have feelings. But that is her choice though. I still remember that part when I was like, draw my waifu. I actually laughed at that. To be fair, friends are overrated. You can easily live without them. If you can't hear the bitterness in my voice, Okay, so she's got okay, so she's gonna be very flustered. I'm gonna open the door. Hmm. Wonder how she was able to um Balls? Balls? Balls. I'm gonna have to look that up. <laughs> Replenish snacks in? Mm. She has snacks in her room, I'm assuming. I think this is the first time I've seen him go to school. I think. 
I think. I don't know if she happened in the first episode. I might be just, you know, having a having a brain fart. I got too many shows on my hands, I swear. I can remember names, except maybe from Suka Suka Kazo. <laughs> Dang, just nope. That's the name. Elf Yamada. That's a character that will be introduced, I'm almost positive. From what I remember from the uh, manga. So he's a fan of her work. Oh, it's a her. Spoiler! It's like I said. <laughs> okay, so he does write light novels, okay. Light novels are extremely popular in Japan, it looks like, uh, but I've actually never actually read one. Probably should, because I know there's High School DxD, ReZero, Konosuba. He's not a girl, though. Gonna shrug a deal. I thought it was like pretty popular. <laughs> That's true. So it's like a... Ooh, snap. Okay, but I mean, also because she's super popular, that means she has a higher. Okay, paint shot. Almost. Sometimes I like more complex, though. I mean, as someone who used to do works in writing.
simple is not it, it, simple is fine if you're hitting the right onions but not for everything she does have elf ears Twitter <laughs> I wonder if Twitter's really that big in uh, Japan. Like, I know Twitter's big here, but it's nothing like people write entire things around it. Like, there has been animes where, I think it also Fuka was one of them, where the main character is, like, obsessed with Twitter. I'm like, I just use it as a news outlet nowadays, and it's especially with Crunchyroll, I'd be like, hey, that, mo that anime is updated, so... She has a bit of a... <laughs> he has a really good uh, voice actor. Rep. I don't know what any of those are. Suck. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> He's in a crisis situation now. All right. I don't remember the ending of this either. I'm, that's your manga sensei. Alright. So I'll probably just wait until the preview uh, for the next episode. But class rep, best girl so far. <laughs> no, I mean, I just, I really liked her part. I don't know. I can't really tell who's going to be best girl. Um, so basically, there's shown three. Class rep. Her, Iramanga Sensei, Sagari, and oh my gosh, Elf Yamada Sensei. So, those are the three girls that have been introduced so far. Um, I know Yamada Sensei becomes quite prevalent in the actual story. Um, <laughs> she just has like cute antics though, so I do gotta like that. Um, but in all honesty, um, I want to see more of I actually want to see more of um, the class rep. I just like her interaction, how she has that kind of messing and teasing kind of personality um but it feels like there's something sprinkled in there if you know what I mean, if you know what i mean but um i know there's gonna be a few more introduced so i'm gonna hold off on best girl predictions so far but i mean of course right now just because i like cute things sakari's got my vote followed immediately by class rep because i already know a little bit about yagari hold on next episode yes puck neck and mansion and the fallen master yeah, okay. I think next episode is going to be focused a lot on Yamada Sensei, and Yamada Sensei was pretty, um, was pretty developed later on. Still probably like her of the least out of the three, um, even with all the development, um, that is shown from her, the one that I read from the manga, might be done differently, because I think this was also done pretty differently than what I remember the manga. Like I said, it's been quite a long time since I read the manga, but... 
we'll go from there. Um, if it changes up a little bit, that's fine. If not, it's still fine. Um, the development was good nonetheless. I'm not going to spoil anything. But, well, that there's not much to spoil with a show like this, but... Um, yeah, I'm actually happy that I was able to react to this episode on time, because I did say in my last, I believe, video, or the video before that, that I might not be able to get to it, depending on my schedule, thankfully I'm working late, but at the same time I'm also, unfortunately, working late, so I'm not gonna get off until, uh, like 11, almost midnight, it might be today, so I'm not looking forward to that, but... Anyways, thanks for watching this video, and I'll see you guys in the next episode. I think I'm going to be reacting to Sakura Quest on Sunday, tomorrow, uh, the second episode, so I can get all caught up for you guys. Um, anyways, that's it for this video, and I'll see you guys in the next reaction. See ya.